Hey everyone, I want to make a review on uh, this Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 um, electric guitar, six string guitar. Um, I got it for my brother as a Christmas present like two years ago. It's a 2021 model and um, since then it's it's been really fun to play. Um, it's a good solid instrument and it's not um, very expensive so it's affordable to a lot of people. And, um, uh, we, we really haven't, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a house guitar. Like, um, anybody who wants to play it, like any of my relatives, we, we can all, we can all play it, but, um, yeah, we haven't had like any issues with it at all. So, I mean, it's, it's been a good instrument so far, but, um, yeah, I just want to, I'm going to talk about some of the specs. Um, it's a mahogany body. It's got some weight to it. Um, of course, because it's um, a mahogany body, it's going to have some weight to it. It's not extremely heavy and, you know, it's not like a light guitar either. But yeah, it's like I said, it's got, got some weight to it. Um, it has a mahogany neck. It's a uh, 1960s slim taper D profile neck shape. So the neck shape is like a D profile. Um, so it's probably, I think what that means is it's, it's a little more chunkier, a little more larger neck. It's not very slim, um, but yeah, I mean, the neck feels good. It's got gloss finish on it. Um, I, I usually like the satin necks, but I mean, Gloss is not really a deal breaker for me. I mean, I like the gloss next too. So it's not really, not really a problem for me, but it's a bolt on neck. Um, the scale length is 24 and three quarter inches. Um, the fingerboard is Indian Laurel. So I know that is a common fingerboard material on like the cheaper guitars but yeah it looks 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 great doesn't look bad or anything so um the radius is a 12 inch radius so it's a pretty flat radius but yeah like i said like it's just it's, it's fun to play so um that's not really an issue for me um but the nut width is 1.68 inches wide. And I think it's just like a plastic nut, but gets the job done. Um, the guitar has nickel hardware. So the, uh, the bridge, um, the Loctone Tunematic bridge is nickel. And the tailpiece is a Loctone stop bar, and that's made of nickel as well. Um, so the pickups, um, the neck pickup is called a Epiphone 650R humbucker, and the bridge pickup is called an Epiphone 700T humbucker. Um, so the pickups, um, most, most cheap guitars, uh, this would be my estimate that a lot of cheaper guitars, the pickups, you know, usually they're humbuckers and they, they, they're very warm sounding. A lot of the affordable guitars, the humbuckers seem to be very, very warm sounding. But these pickups on this guitar, um, they, they have some good bite to them and they're not like extremely like warm. They're not like muddy sounding. Um, they just have a nice sound to them. The distortion sounds aggressive and it's uh, really fun to play on. But it has one volume, volume right here, and one tone knob, tone knob down here. And the pickup switch is a three-way Epiphone toggle switch. Neck pickup on the rhythm, the middle pickup, both pickups activated, and then the treble, which is the bass, or sorry, the uh, bridge pickup.
But um, yeah, so it has dot inlays. And like I said, um, gloss finish on the body and on the neck. Looks really nice and shiny on the body. It's got 22 frets. It's a single cut, less paw. Um, the strings that I have on it are Ernie Ball regular slinkies. And um, yeah, so it's a tobacco sunburst finish. And yeah, it's a good looking guitar. It's not really anything too flashy, but it's classic looking guitar. So, um, I like that. And, um, something about the, uh, knobs, the knobs, yeah, the knobs, they're, they're nice and smooth. They're not like, you know, they're not like loose or anything. There's, there wasn't any loose parts when the guitar arrived. It came set up well. I mean, yeah, there's been like no issues for it. It's been a really good deal for, uh. For like a few bucks under two hundred dollars, it's it's a good deal. Um, it doesn't have any sharp fret ends, and the frets are nice and smooth. Not they're not rough at all. You know, they, they play good. They're not like they're not like butter, but you know they're they're smooth. And, um, yeah, it holds tuning, holds tuning good. After, like, a few days of just sitting around, it may fall out of tune a little bit, but once it's tuned up with some adjusting of the tuners, um, then, then it holds tuning pretty well then. So, yeah. Um, and about the tuners, um, they're covered tuners. And they have a 14 to 1 ratio. So I'll show you guys the uh, the back of the guitar. So you can see that. That's what it looks like. It's just all black on the back. The gloss neck. Covered tuners. The bolt-on neck. Performance is our passion part of the Gibson family of brands. Yeah, nice and shiny. So like I do with my other reviews, um, I'm just gonna give you guys a tone demonstration of what the guitar sounds like. I'm gonna be using the Fender Deluxe amp. I'm gonna plug it in. It's kind of a mess in the basement right now because um, my my dad's going on vacation, so there's a lot of stuff down here. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna plug the Fender Deluxe in, and record over there with my interface. So here's the sound demo. Okay, so uh, for anybody who doesn't know, um, I'm using this Fender Deluxe, which is a uh, all tube driven amplifier. Um, it's a one by 12 combo. I got it mic'd up with the SM58. And I got some pedals that I'm gonna use for the tone demonstration of the Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. Gonna use a Big Muff, the Fuzz pedal. Gonna gonna use a flanger pedal, a metal zone for some distortion, and a wah pedal. So, hope you guys enjoyed the sound demo, and here it is.